This video is requested by 2001 WWE fan, and here it is. Hey guys, this is the end of Hawk123, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a muzzle flash with GIMP and Windows Movie Maker. Um, in Windows Movie Maker, you're going to start, so you're going to need GIMP, Windows Movie Maker, a computer of course, and a camera to film a video of you just like moving, shooting a gun. Well, you're not actually shooting it, but the motion of what you think like you're shooting a gun. So let me import my video here, I just did. I am using a shotgun because I couldn't find a pistol. So it's just a fake it's a really uh fake toy one. It's like a video game one. You plug into your T V, it's like a buck hunter or something. But uh just wait for the clip to load in. There it is, so you can just click and drag into here. Oh, I gotta recover my file, I don't know why it always does that. Okay, like that. And uh, here's my clip. It might lag. Yep. It lagged really bad, but it's because I'm running like four different programs. But in the you're gonna go to the spot before you shoot. So uh you go back. Yeah, that was that's what I thought it would be. So right there. Right there. So right right about there, I uh Yeah, right there. Okay, so what you when you get to the spot, um just uh if you have a uh, older version of Win of Windows Movie Maker, it should be on your computer. There would be a picture uh, icon right here, but if there's not, there was probably one in Tools. Yeah, take a picture from Preview. Um, crap. Okay, like right there, you're gonna take a picture. Well, actually, split first. Split first, and once you split, take a picture. Um, save it as what you want, like, um, okay, save it in your images, okay, uh, you're gonna open up GIMP, I already have it opened, and go to file, open, You can look through your photos here. I have a lot of photos. Uh, right here. And open it. You, uh, double click. You double click on it to open it. And then you open it. What you're going to do now is you're going to file, open as layers. You're going to open a muzzle flash. So you can get your muzzle flash off of Google if you just go to Google Images and type in muzzle flash and you find one. Go to the actual website it's on and then file or right click on it and then save as uh, image and then um, save it and you can open it right here. Where is it? Right here. So I'm just going to open that. Make sure you open a new layer like I showed you. And it'll be right here like this. You can click on the scale tool. Uh, go right here and click like and drag to make it smaller see how that is I can click the select tool now that's gonna cover the screen you're just gonna go uh, 
right here to layers and make sure this is on screen okay now you can uh, use the select tool right or the move tool right here and move the muzzle flash where you want this is a little big so I think I can scale it down a little bit more that's pretty good scale and now move it I can scale it down one more sorry guys hold on alright scale alright that's good and if it doesn't line up like it, the direction is not the same as the muzzle flash you can just click on the rotate tool right here and, it'll, uh, and click on it and like rotate it the way you want I think that this one would be good right here and click rotate that's about it right there that's that's pretty good right there it might be a little bit um, right there should be good oh I don't know right there rotate that's good enough that's pretty good line it up with the gun and once you have it as that, you can just um, file, save as, and save it as your muzzle flash. Yeah, muzzle flash. The same thing that you save it as before. Hold on. Okay. Save replace you're gonna want to replace it make sure you save it as the same name you have before export you can make the quality 100 if you want I don't think it matters um, save now you have it saved you can minimize out of it or exit because you're done with GIMP just go back into Windows Movie Maker and you can click on it and it's changed that's good now you have your muzzle flash on there so if you zoom in down here in your timeline And uh, I don't know if your image is in there already. No, but you can take your image, put it in there. You're gonna wanna speed that up a lot. So if you uh, add a lot of speed up doubles on here, and you can just size it down, like because this is probably not gonna work. I think it it almost did, but it's a little long. Maybe a little bit. But I think I'm gonna add another double to it. I think five. Oh wow, not blur. You don't want blur. All right, add that. Should be good now. If it's still too long, which it shouldn't be, then just keep sizing it down to find your perfect thing. But you can add um, audio or uh, a sound effect. You can get them off of Google if you just type in like sound effects. You can go to websites that have. Um, I don't know if I have that many. Oh, I have a shotgun in here, so I'm lucky. I got a shotgun, shotgun one already. So I'm just you're just gonna put it like right directly where the image starts. And um let's watch our clip. Okay. It shoots a lot with that shotgun. Like um on here, it shoots like six times I don't want that so we're gonna pause it when it's done with the first shot that was a little bit too much okay and you can split it and just delete the other one okay here now you should be done and you're done that's how you make a muzzle flash in Windows Movie Maker you can file and save it you guys know how to do that 
Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Dunderhawk123. See you guys later. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.